Hello guys, Pastor Preston is my name. So excited to come your way today. So where you are going does not require crowd, so it can produce crowd. I certainly know that as it grows or it becomes a system, it might attract some level of crowd, but you must be careful, right, to take yourself away from the crowd and really understand what you intend to do with your life, right, and then focus, okay? Someone will say, if you truly know where you are going, you will know who to take along, right? And of course, you also know who not to take along, right? And all that. So, but that's very important that you first know where you are going. And that will come when you study God's word and you pray in the spirit. Okay. And from studying the word and praying by the spirit, you should be able to know, you know, uh, that eternal plans and purpose for your life, which of course it's within reconciling men to Christ with the word of reconciliation and then on a personal career maybe like a job and the rest of them right something that you have passion for that you enjoy to do that does not go against um, God's word that means it's not fraudulent all right and all of all that okay and all that will now determine the kind of people that you associate with someone said when we listen to the crowd we'll miss our, our road in life when we listen to the crowd okay so be careful how you want to get opinion from everybody and all that stuff. When you know where you are going, you know the, the right people to choose. You know the right persons to ask questions. You know the right person to be your mentor, right? You know the right person to follow. You know the right materials to read. And then you stay focused at that. Now, let me say this. Satan always does not want you to accomplish your purpose in life, right? Most importantly, your eternal purpose. So he does everything to fight you. He does everything to bring a very beautiful distraction, something that makes sense, but takes you away from your course, okay? So always guide against it, right? Anything that does not make sense or makes sense outside of the things that you want to achieve with your life, you must consider a distraction. And then you must pull out from them and focus on the things that you've been called to do. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay, be very conscious of it, be very cautious don't do things that you feel don't do things that you like don't welcome anyone that just shows up okay right let where you are going right determine the kind of people that you associate with the kind of people that you welcome to your life the kind of people that you listen to even the kind of materials that you listen to and you read it is where you are going to in life that determines it there are a lot of materials there are a lot of people in life that will just mislead you that will waste your time like like i like to tell people your life is too expensive to be an experiment right you cannot just choose to throw it around and keep making mistakes with it right you need to stay focused at where you are going expose yourself in that direction right keep a close circle of intelligent smart godly people within that idea and then build with them right focus with them push with them press with them right put in the right the right requirement per time and then build to accomplish those purpose anyone who is focused will definitely accomplish his dreams and the things he wants to accomplish but everyone who is distracted will always miss it in life remember it says if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light okay i know you want to say but the bible says in the multitude of counsel there is safety it is not diverse counsel it is not any kind of counsel it has to be counsel from the same field if you're studying medicine and you're taking counsel from an engineer an accountant you miss it in life but within medicine there are many lecturers right uh, histology pathology biochemistry all of all those space right that can give you the right counsel that you can put together to make progress in medicine that's the same thing about in the model of counsel it's not foolish counselors right it has to be counselors wise counselors and people who are within the area or the field that you want to excel in so guide against distractions in your life focus on where you are going and be very intentional about the things the people and the materials that you take in within that direction that you want to accomplish thank you for listening and god bless you